Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my uh, number one son, Michael Anthony Fitness. How you doing, Michael? I'm good. You good? Hey. hey. What? How about a boy from JMU? Oh man, we got two. We got an edge rusher too. We sat undrafted free. We're gonna talk about wait, JMU wait, later. Wait, 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 he's from JMU? Yes, I oh, said we got. Oh, a oh. okay. All right, but we, 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 oh. Talk, we got all day. We got all day to talk That's about that. Running back too, okay, man. so yeah. you know. A lot of times I say things that people are like, you're not an expert. You don't know what you're not talking about. You don't work for NFL Network or ESPN and stuff. But I'm going to ask you guys something. I want you to listen to this on, on NFL Network and tell me if I've ever said anything like this before. That's right, C.D. Lamb out of Oklahoma was sitting at 17, so Jerry on the yacht was partying it up. Let's be honest, Jerry was going to be partying it up regardless of who was sitting there at 17. <laughs> yeah, you so know Lamb that's a right. Piece to the puzzle on an offense that already includes a fine quarterback in Dak Prescott, one of the best running backs in Ezekiel Elliott, Amari Cooper re-upped for $100 million, and Michael Gallup steady, if nothing else, with Steve Smith. This is an offense that was ranked number one in the NFL a year ago, sixth in points. Yep, Isn't yep. the best offense going in the NFC, in your opinion? So let's look at this. I love football. I grew up playing football, watching football, and we just had the NFL 100 year. We, we, we talked about what the history of football. Man, if this is not the history moving, if this is not history moving forward, it's nothing like it. When you really think about it and digest what they did with CD Lamb, they now become possibly, dare I say it, is this now America's team that is rejuvenated to becoming a new dynasty? Because now you got to think about this offensively. They have to pick your poison. You have to decide which guy are you going to take away. Amari Cooper? Now, if you take him away, then you got the young fresh lamb of CD Lamb trying to take him away. Then Coop has his day. Then Michael Gallup, he eats. And then after all of that, you still have to give a little bit of Ezekiel Elliott. So that Prescott is the guy. They just made it so attractive for him to resign. And let's take a bite of the apple, right? When you take let's a bite eat. of the apple, everybody gets to eat. And I'm talking about it's a whole bunch of apples in this cart because. It now, when you come to play the Dallas Cowboys, you got to decide how are you going to die? Who is going to kill you today? Because they are locked and loaded. And I really believe this, and I'm saying it again and again. What have I said? Death by a thousand cuts. That literally, your defensive coordinator, you're going to have nightmares because you can't cover all those people. You can't. It's too many guys. You're going to have to say, who is the weakest one out there? Let's let, let let them try and get the ball to you. But is there a weak link in there? I mean, Michael Gallup is galloping down the field, you know, big time. You got Amari Cooper who play inside and outside. And now you add C.D. Lamb and even Blake Jarwin, who averaged over 10 yards a catch last year in the, his 88. Yes, he got 88. <laughs> <clears throat> and then you got still Zeke Elliott. So, you know, somewhere in there, every week, somebody different can be eaten. But let, let's listen some more. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. It is a new dynasty. Nothing to take away new from dynasty. Urban, but those guys laid the foundation. And now these guys are taking the torch. And they're about to go. Blow and go. And I'm excited to watch it. And I can't believe I'm saying Blow that. Blow and go. Holy smokes. The Cowboys are dangerous. So, Eagles, you should be scared. Stop. Y'all Oh, you're going to be scared of the Eagles. Get out of here, man. Whatever apples you want, Steve, they've got them now. And the rest of that is what? Because of what we're doing during this pandemic right now, we didn't even get the Kentucky Derby this year. But they would sound the bugle right now and play it. And the fanfare would happen as they go into the gate because these Cowboys are flying out of the gate now. C.D. Lamb falls to them. Instead of restocking an offensive line, getting a corner, worrying about a safety, they said, let's go ahead and, Steve, as Steve described, let's just go ahead and get faster. All right? Let's yep. go ahead and sprint and make everyone else try and keep up with us. They've got all that going on now. And by the way, they've got a young tight end named Blake Jarwin. 
He's about to come into his own. He's going to get a chance to find out that apple, too, as well, Steve. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Look, we all know that they don't make them any bigger than they do in Texas. Now they don't make them any faster than they do in Texas. There you go. Hey, Steve Smith, I got to tell you, I think Michael Overton, you made him break out into a sweat more so than normal right now with that comment. Because Mike's going to come out and say, hey, since we won Super Bowl 30, this is an organization that's won all of four playoff games. They got a lot to prove to me. I'm Here we go. Here Mike we go. Say, Not me, just Mike, right? I, I, I understand what you're saying, but we also know that America's team has been established because of what those men have done prior to these young men that are now on the stage, and it's darn good on paper. I don't care if you can say, oh, this is just fanfare. Nah, fanfare. <laughs> nah, I bro. Like and, it's, and I like apple crisp apples, just to be honest, organic. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, my honey crisp guy. Well, yeah, it's got to be all organic. All right, enough of our dietary needs. Yeah, so there you go. Okay. Uh, next, he was one of the... So, they talking about our Cowboys. But that's what I said before. To me, I had been looking at this. See, this, this is where, believe it or not, Dak Prescott has always been good at distributing the ball to different receivers and finding the open person. And that's when the offense has worked out the best. The fact that you took an offense that they, they moved the ball last year and you add now a playmaker on top of it right there, Oh, my goodness. This offense is going to be scary. So, Eagles, I know you guys are saying, well, we did real good in the second day and this, that, and the other. We got Carson Wentz. What do you mean, you did good? Y'all be joking the NFL. Well, they, they, actually, they actually added some good players. I'm going to give them credit. They actually added some good players maybe, maybe, in the maybe, maybe uh, second day. I mean the third day. I'm sorry, the third day. Because I don't know if Hurts was a good pick. Well, I actually, in thinking about it, because Carson Wentz – is forever getting hurt. I think they looked at that and said, we need a guy when Carson Wentz gets knocked out like he usually does so to be able to have that's, that's laughing hurt. Yep. <laughs> so it won't hurt so much. When Car what did I do at the top of this? It won't hurt so much when Carson Wentz gets hurt. But the man wasn't even, wasn't even a second round grade. Well, they, you know, they, they, they said they said he wasn't hey. even. He said Cooper Cooper Rush was was rated, was rated higher than him. Yeah. Okay. Well, but anyway, Eagles, you got some problems, bro. You got some problems to deal with. Um, are you gonna paint that one again? That one's not going out. That one's going wait. I need I need a blue one. Give me a blue one. I need I've got a I need a uh, a oh no wait a minute yeah, oh no I need a two faced one. Okay, never mind. I mean, you can use that one if you want to paint you half and half. Okay. You got the other blues are covered, right? All, all of this is painted. The way for it to dry. Is that, Unless, is that just second coats? One of them. I'll have to look, you have to look at it and see. Kind of just trying to keep all this stuff together because we got a lot of these things the to do. The two blue ones, I'm not sure. Um, look at them we'll probably do a live stream in here a little bit later. So the walnut ones will be done. I'm going to glue together some more of those. The next time we go to Rangers. I think we're, um, I'm, I think I'm, uh, yeah. Sal's is one of those. And then Tony, I think, is ordering the mug rack. All right. I, I'm going to get it straight. I'm going to get it straight. I got lots to do. All right. I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. See you soon. Well, maybe not. What you got going, Mike? You got something coming up? Not right now. Nothing? Man, I thought you were going to be doing some changes for your set downstairs. I thought you were. Nothing that's new, so. You know what I want to do, which would be cool. We got some wood next time we go to Rainfield. I want to make a rack. Wait, make a what? A rack. Or at least the football shape part of it. I have some of the wood from that book place. Well, we got. Well, we also have that. Uh, AT Hart Pine from Alex's house. Too. I want to use some of the one from the Red Book house. All right, so what are you guys doing on this Sunday after the draft, man? Are y'all just chilling? Chilling like a villain? Or are you uh, doing something productive? I want to know. Um, I've got some stuff that we're working on. I'm getting Jet D to take care of it. We're going to have a, a draft shirt. The uh, Joe Boo logo that Brian Delarosa made. For the draft, we're going to get that on a shirt and said, 
I was there. The Joe Boo Draft Conference Call. All right, guys. We'll let this stuff dry. Get another coat on here. Double check my orders in there. And if you're interested in the racks, I know the whole thing is kind of, but my, my site's a pooch screw. Derek from Megabytes working on my new um, website. We'll get it so it's a little bit better. So just bear with us. We'll get it all squared away. All right, I'll see you in a bit.